Early music can be surprising for modern audiences. A lot of people come to our concerts and are delighted that they don't require any specific knowledge to understand it. A lot of it is music that, that one can appreciate without any background, just open ears. One of the things I love about early music is <clears throat> a sort of sense of mystery that's involved in it. it. It comes from a time that's fairly remote from our own. Uh, and so when we perform this music, there's a, an amazing sense of adventure. And it's that incredible freshness um, and a newness about old music, actually, that I think is one of the things that appeals so much about it. The, this repertoire is so vast. And really, we cover a very long time frame. We perform music from almost half a millennium. Part of the charm of early music really is the distinct sound of historical instruments. All of the winds and strings and keyboard instruments and percussion instruments don't sound exactly like their modern equivalents. In most cases they're a lot softer, but they're really unique timbres. There's an incredible intimacy uh, in, in early music, sort of by definition. It was music generally intended to be played by small groups of people for each other. And that sense of intimacy is really a wonderful, um, almost therapeutic kind of musical experience. <laughs> 